Okay, question 17. We've got the lines y is x minus 2, so that's this line here, and y plus x equals 10, that's this line here drawn on the grid. We've got to mark all the points with integer coordinates, so that means whole numbers. So in this question it means we're just looking at where there are actual physical points on the graph, not any halfway values in the region defined by these inequalities. So first of all, y is greater than x minus 2. So that's the line y equals x minus 2. We need to find out where y is greater than x minus 2. And the best way of doing that is just probably to pick a point. So let's try the point. What point's this? That's the point uh, 11, 10. And test that rule. So here, y is 10, and x minus 2 would be 11 minus 2, I'll put an equal sign there, so that would be 9. So the correct symbol we'd need there, 10 is bigger than 9, so it'd be that way. So all of the points that are this side of the line are the ones where y is greater than x minus 2. So first of all, we're looking for points that are this side of the line. Okay, let's look at the second inequality, same sort of idea. So x plus y is less than 10. So let's pick maybe that point there and test that. So for that one, that's 10, 1. So x is 10 plus 1. So that'll be 11. So the correct symbol I need to put in there is um, a greater than. So this side of the line here is where x plus y is greater than 10. So the other side of the line, so all these points along here, is where x plus y is less than 10. So we're looking at this side of this line and this side of this line. Now it might help actually if you kind of scribble out which bits you're not interested in. So it can't be in there. And also, if we're looking at this side of this line, it can't be in there. So let's get rid of that. Right, we've also got to look at x is greater than 3. So first of all, we're going to need the line x is 3. So that's the line up here, like this. And all the points where x is greater than 3, that's quite easy to do, because it's all of the points up this way. So we want to also be... this side of here. So we're also not interested in any of this. So all of the points that have got integer coordinates that satisfy these is anything that's inside there. You'll notice we've got all sort of strictly either greater than or less than signs which means we can't have any that are on the lines, they've got to be inside the region. So we've got one there, there, and there. And there. So we've actually only got four points that satisfy the inequality. It's quite a tricky question this. It might be worth thinking if you're in an exam, can you pick up maybe one or two marks on it? So could you draw that on the graph and show the points that satisfy just that bit? Because you might pick up a mark for it.